Give me an intro, babe. Swift Camp Out 2023. Here we come. <laughs> so late Saturday afternoon, me and Aaron took off from my studio and met Ben and Brad downtown Akron at Dirty River Bicycle Works. We were doing kind of a short overnighter for our Swift Camp Out. It was about 40 miles of riding the first day, a little over 30 the second day. Headed out to Garrettsville. Uh, we have a place that we stay uh, on the edge of a farm, but we were all using it as kind of a shakedown ride because we're going on vacation next week where we'll be doing some bike packing with a mix of a couple, like two and a half days of single track and forest roads. And then the second two days will be a little more on the road along the lake. So we need bikes that are capable of doing it all. And we're using uh, setups that were a little different. And for me and Brad, completely different. So yeah, we wanted to see how they handled, even though it wasn't going to be a complete apples to apples comparison, since there wasn't too much off road on this trip, I still just wanted to get the vibe of how my bike handled loaded down and stuff like that. And I have to say it handles amazing. I've always kind of hacked together my bike touring and bike camping bikes. You know, originally I was using vintage road bikes and, you know, then I used my rally without any racks, which worked out fairly long, all right because it has a long wheelbase. But, you know, last year I used my Marin, which I didn't mind doing the Gap and CNO on, but the front end was very floppy with the weight on it and the way I built it. This bike, besides when you first jump on, like anytime you get on your loaded bike after a while, you could feel that you're pushing all that extra weight. It really didn't handle any different. Having those panniers down on the front, uh, just it didn't even make the front end floppy. I could still ride no handed. And the little bits that we did get to go off road, which you'll see, it still handled fine. So I think I had the bike really balanced as the zeitgeist was in the back. I had all my sleeping stuff in there. And then the front two panniers had clothes, electronics and all that kind of thing, some extra food. I overloaded the bike just a little bit for what I needed on an overnighter, just because I did want to get the, the vibe of how it handled. So turns out when you use a bike that is designed for touring and bike pam camping, that it's a lot better than when you don't. <laughs> so, I mean, anything can be made to work and I've made a whole video about doing this stuff cheaply and with all the stuff you already have. Uh, being that this is pretty much how I vacation now, I don't mind having the investment in some nicer gear and a bike that actually is made to do it. So. The other thing that was going to be completely new for me was uh, the sweet bars. So as I've already said, these weren't the longest days, but I was still able to get a feeling for what it was like to be out for a number of hours. And my hands felt absolutely fine. I've always been a huge like drop bar guy. Ever since I got my dad's old uh, motorbacon, I've almost exclusively ridden bars with drop uh, uh, bikes with oh, drop bars, and I never right. thought I'd go anywhere else. But like I said in the last video, when I borrowed this gunner from Otis originally, and he had these whiskey sweet bars on it, I was really enjoying it. And so now with the Velo Orange granola bars, I've been liking it for all the ATB and mountain biking stuff I've been doing. And I turns out I actually really liked it on this overnighter as well. I think, you know, I was always saying how I needed the multiple hand positions on long days, and that's what really made drops attractive to me but I also think part of part of the reason I needed all those hand positions is because the bikes were just you know not as slack so I'm putting more pressure on my hands uh, when I did the Ohio to Erie trail on my vintage trek I remember my hands were really hurting and I had to constantly move them around but again that's a bike that has is not made for touring at all um, so you're leaning a little forward more on your hands and then I also had all the weight on the back and that bike does not have long chain stays so the bike was actually squirrely in the front. I couldn't even ride it no handed. So just goes to show that. But yeah, with having the turning access or like where my hands are in line with the steering access on the gunner, yeah, I'm just not putting as much pressure on my hands. So I don't <laughs> think it bothered me. And there still are a few other hand positions as I could like go to the front of the bend in the, in the bars. And I do that kind of when I'm descending if I do want to get a little arrow. But yeah, we will, we'll see how it goes like riding, you know, single track in longer days and the bike being a little bit heavier next week. But so far, I think it's going to work out. So see if I have to eat my words on that or not, if I want to go back to drops or riding the rally. But I don't think that's going to be the case. So anyways, yeah, our trip was out to Garrettsville. Really had a good time. Got out there, got our camp set up, and then it was Summerfest in downtown Garrettsville. So we went in, we went into the town, had a couple beers, and 
kind of I was just playing around with my cameras. You'll see having a lot of fun with the colors and the lights and all that kind of stuff. Came back to camp and in the morning we got up, you know, made our coffee, had breakfast and all that kind of thing. Rode back into Kent, which is about 20 miles into Kent. Went to this brunch spot we hadn't been to in an old train station that was really, really good with ridiculously sized pancakes. So anyways, enjoy watching this. And uh, this week we will be having some more uh, bike camping content coming out as we get ready to hit the road for Michigan. I'm pretty excited about that. Thanks for all the support, everyone. Remember to like this video and check out our little sticker and t-shirt store in the description below. Thanks. Peace.
gonna break your heart. 